Hi, this is Dr. Alan Mendelson from Eye Surgeons and Consultants in Hollywood, Florida. Today, I'm going to talk about a very simple but crucially important topic. Please don't smoke. I'm frequently asked, why as an ophthalmologist? Why do I care so much about my patients and the members of the community stop smoking? And the reason's twofold. First of all, of course, from head to toe, we want everyone to be as healthy as possible. But number two, unfortunately, with smoking, it has a profound effect on the health of the human eye, with smokers incurring tremendous damage, whereby smokers, their long-term level of vision drops precipitously. So you're probably wondering, how and why does this happen? Three key reasons. Reason number one, as a non-smoker, my own blood level of something called carboxyhemoglobin is either zero or very negligible. While a smoker, let's say they smoke a pack a day, considerably higher level of carboxyhemoglobin. Smoke two packs a day, big trouble, carboxyhemoglobin skyrockets. So specifically that high level of carboxyhemoglobin, I'm going to get to in just a second, but let me give a little background. So pretend that the palm of my hand is the entire retina in the back of the eye. The very central 5% is called the macula. We use the macula for good sharp vision for driving. We use the macula to read, desk work, paperwork, looking at digital devices. The remaining 95% of the retina actually is just our peripheral field of vision. The macula is crucial. If the macula takes a hit, that's called macular degeneration. Smokers have a dramatically higher level of macular degeneration than non-smokers. Why does this occur? Let's go back to the macula. There are little capillaries supplying oxygen and nourishment. That markedly elevated level of carboxyhemoglobin that we talked about, what's happening is a smoker is essentially strangulating themselves creates hypoxia, lack of oxygen. So that macular region takes a hit from that lack of oxygen and runs into major trouble. There's a second reason with the macula why smoking is bad. So throughout the macular region, we have what are called macular pigments. The macular pigments are crucial to keep our photoreceptors healthy, the rods, the cones, and enable us to see well. There's a loss of macular pigments in everybody. Aging changes, ultraviolet sun exposure, other factors. So we don't like having that decrease in macular pigments, but with smoking, that decrease is hastened. The macular pigments have a much more expedited demise, and that's a very big problem. Issue number three. There is a team of brilliant researchers, National Institute of Health, for more than two decades. They have had long-term studies on how to keep the macula healthy. That research team is, the research study is Advanced Research in Eye Disease. Well, they have isolated six key nutrients. Vitamin C, vitamin E, zinc, copper, lutein, and zeaxanthin. Those are the six key ingredients and vitamins that are called ARIDS-2 as a result of the study. Those six key core ingredients. Well, what happens with smoking? Three of the six ingredients, the absorption is inhibited or impaired as a result of smoking. So by conscientiously taking the vitamins or conscientiously taking food to get those six key nutrients, that's being severely impaired as a result of smoking. So between the elevated carboxyhemoglobin level, the loss of macular pigments, and the impaired absorption of three of the six key nutrients, all of those things combined, not unexpectedly result in the macula taking a terrible hit, which is macular degeneration. So anecdotally, every ophthalmologist that I know notes our smokers, unfortunately, not only have a far higher incidence of macular degeneration, but they seem to take a far worse hit. Besides macular degeneration being the number one cause of blindness in the United States, 50 and older, number two is probably glaucoma, and number three is probably diabetic eye disease. 
diabetic eye disease is diabetic retinopathy and diabetic maculopathy. Unfortunately, with the diabetics, smoking tremendously increases the chance of having the diabetic retinopathy or maculopathy. Anecdotally, most ophthalmologists notice the bleeding is much, much worse. So while diabetics will go through major painstaking efforts to keep the blood sugars well controlled, to exercise, be very careful with their other physicians, keeping everything under good control, just the mere act of smoking negates a lot of that hard work and effort. So with three of the most common causes of blindness in the United States being macular degeneration is one, diabetic eye disease is three, and smokers having a far higher incidence of both of them, just for those two reasons alone, stop smoking is crucially important. Now, we understand it's not always possible just to stop cold turkey, but at least if somebody can go from a pack a day to half a pack a day, that itself does help considerably. But the goal eventually, of course, please don't smoke. So if you, a loved one, a friend, a neighbor, a coworker, or smoking, please, please do your best to give very strong, gentle, but polite, but firm encouragement that smoking is of paramount importance to preserving eyesight. Thank you very much.